welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, and Merry Christmas, because the day this will be up will be Christmas Day, so I hope you have a lovely day with lots of food, like a bad Christmas movie, at least that's tradition in my family to watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase every year, that's like our thing, so I'll probably be doing that today as well, um, but I thought that for this Sunday's video, I would bring you a festive makeup look. Uh, so that's what I have for you today. Uh, let's address the hair. I just got back from the hairdressers. I just had an appointment this morning. Um, and I also went into town and bought a couple of new bits that I wanted to try out in this video. For instance, this sleek palette. And I picked up another one of the Hema powders. I reviewed the gold one on my blog earlier this week, but they also had a silver one, which is super duper sparkly and which I thought would really add that festive glittery touch to the final look. Instead of going for golds and reds, as you can see, it's much more like a purpley toned look with a hint of silver here and there. And I think I, uh, I think it turned out pretty, pretty great. So let's stop just, let me just stop rambling and let's get to the makeup look. I hope you enjoy. I'm starting this look off by pulling my hair out of my face and priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I will fill in my brows using the Soap & Glory Archery Brow Pencil and this is in the blonde shade and I'm also brushing it, uh, them through for good measure just to make it look a little bit more natural. I'm going to set my brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel and then moving on to foundation which is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Cushion Foundation. This is one of my absolute favorites, in fact this is the last time I'm using it because now it's officially gone. For concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. This has been my favorite concealer of late. And as you can see, I'm just dabbing it all over my face before blending it all in with a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease. Uh, I think it's the Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm setting all of that in place with the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. As you can see, I'm running out. Moving on to bronzer then, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Radiant Light, which is a bit too dark for me as a face powder, but works quite nicely as a bronzer. For contour, I'm using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and an e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. For highlight, I'm using Nars' Albatross, which is quite new my to my collection, but I'm very much enjoying this product, so I thought I'd use it in this look. For blush, I'm actually using a highlighter. This is the Makeup Revolution Vi Vivid Bakes Highlighter in, I believe, Rose Gold or Rose Light, something like that. Moving on to eyes, the Kiko Sparkling Trail Eyeshadow in 06, which is a cream eyeshadow with a bit of a pinky purpley shimmer to it and I'm just blending it out with a Real Techniques Bold Metal Brush. And that's what that looks like. We're sticking to Kiko for the eyes and this is a purple bright duo baked shadow and with a flat shader brush I'm applying the lightest shade all over my lid to set and pretty much cover that entire crease shadow or the cream shadow. Then with a fluffy brush, I'm putting the darker purple shade in my crease. And to help blend out the crease, I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2, the third shade in that palette. And as a brow bone highlight, I'm using the first shade in that palette. Then the Essence Midnight Masquerade eyeshadow in the dark blue shade. This is what I'm using to deepening and darkening up the crease here and the outer V. Just to create a bit more dimension. I'm going back into that purple shade to blend out that blue shade. And then we're repeating some of these steps on the lower lash line by applying the dark blue with a smudge brush 
on the lower lash line. I'm using the light purple shade on a smoky eyes brush to blend that out. And some more of that light purple all over the lid to make it pop. Now you could keep the look here if you'd like, but I wanted to add a bit of festive glitter and glam to it. So I went to my new sleek eye dust palette. This is called Hidden Gems, and we're going to be using a couple of shades out of this, starting with the purple, which I used with a brush at first, but then decided on my finger instead. And I'm also covering some of that blue on the lower lash line. And with a very small, precise brush, I'm taking the silver and use it to highlight my inner corner, which I'm going to set using this super sparkly silver uh, powder by Hema, which is the Luminous Loose Powder, which is limited edition for Christmas. And I'm also dabbing that all over the eye. Mascara then, this is the Maybelline The Falsies Flared. And for lipstick, I wanted to keep things neutral. This is Max Brave, which is a satin finish, and I thought this would go nicely with the look. And that's it, there you have it. Just doing my little posy bit. I really hope you enjoy this video. Enjoy your Christmas, and please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, I hope to see you next week. Bye.